Apple has recently teased its Vision Pro onto the internet and made waves in the tech industry. People can't seem to get enough of it due to the hype Apple has created even before its launch. Although the Vision Pro is a computer you wear on your face, its application is innovative. Instead of viewing the computer's output through a physical screen, two incredibly tiny yet high-resolution screens are placed in front of you, right in front of your eyes. To operate the computer, the primary user interface uses eye tracking and gestures rather than a keyboard, mouse, or touch screen. Apple does not require a physical controller to utilize the computer as they did when they removed the stylus from displays when they introduced the iPhone. The computer observes your eye movement to decide what you are interested in interacting with, and then it looks at your hands to see what you want to do. Each item has predecessors, including wearable viewing devices like Google Glass or Meta's Quest Pro, and gesture control technologies like Leap Motion and the Mayo Armband. But none of these forerunners managed to organize it all into a single cohesive concept. This new gadget is what Apple refers to as a spatial computer. The gadget may use any physical place around as a canvas to show digital outputs, Hence, the name is appropriate. There are no restrictions on the size of the apparent viewing area, nor is a desk required to position the device. That implies you could view a cinema-sized film while seated in a small location, such as an aircraft seat. What should the purpose of a spatial computer be? Apple has provided use cases that could be more interesting. It has the same functionality as a standard PC, but displays the available 2D data far more adaptable. There is interest in that. It will be useful if you have a limited amount of room. Those who already fill their area with screens will find it useful. A large screen TV would be the closest analog in that regard. Would consumers spend $3,500? Even Apple offers the Pro Display XDR, a maximum price of $6,000, from that angle, current use case costs are within reach. The large number of existing apps for the iPad and iPhone are seeded onto this new platform as an advantage of this technique. However, the technology and R&D effort into the Vision Pro is not justified by a better and more practical display for 2D material. The main concern is whether or not this technology may result in augmented reality and virtual reality applications that justify wearing a computer on your head. It undoubtedly possesses the technological capacity to do so. The Vision Pro can show 3D items to you in your current environment or even take you somewhere else. However, Apple seldom referenced augmented reality or virtual reality in their introduction. They drew a line nobody had ever drawn before by doing this. This is not an AR or VR gadget or technology. A spatial computer is an underlying technology, and applications are where AR and VR may be used. Let's go through those ideas again. The idea behind augmented reality is to alter how you see your surroundings. By using smart glasses to display notifications, Google Glass achieved this. The Vision Pro does this by mounting 2D displays and anchoring them to remain stationary no matter how your head moves. Immersing the user in a virtual world is the goal of virtual reality. You are, by definition, engaged in a virtual environment when the Vision Pro has your entire attention. That is the environment where you are in one mode. The crucial point is that Apple should have stressed these use cases despite AR and VR capabilities. They have created a gadget that can accomplish both, but neither domain has compelling use cases. This is among the explanations for why they announced this during their yearly developer conference. Apple requires apps, and they need help in coming up with ideas. This viewpoint clarifies why many past alleged use cases for AR and VR have been of little value. As we conclude our exploration of Apple's Vision Pro, we can't help but ponder its true potential. What should the purpose of a spatial computer be? 
Imagine a world where the boundaries between physical and digital realms blur, where immersive experiences become the norm. Will wearing a computer on your head unlock new frontiers of augmented reality and virtual reality? The Vision Pro holds the technological capacity, but do the compelling use cases exist? Join us in unraveling the mysteries of this spatial computer. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest advancements, and let's embark on this transformative journey together.